In Pasco County, a shortage of bus drivers is leading to some pretty tricky situations across the district for parents. And on your side, Trevor Sahaki joins us live from Pasco County. And Trevor, you spoke with a parent who is dealing with this situation right now. Yeah, that's right, Chris and Deanne. I'm here in Land Lakes at the brand new Angeline Academy of Innovation. But getting to this new school could be tricky for some kids with two different homes because they're only allowed one bus pass for one home. I spoke with Darcy Brune, the mom of a Pasco County high schooler. When she and her former husband separated earlier this year, she wanted to get her son two bus passes for both houses. But the district won't let her. She said she's heard of kids taking Ubers to school or even sneaking on the bus. She doesn't want her son walking or biking to school on dangerous roads in this extreme heat either. Um, you know, our children and our community are our future and we want to keep them safe. We want them to get to school easily and safely and we want to treat every parent equally. It doesn't matter if your child has two households or one, they should be able to get to school safely. And in a statement to Aid on Your Side, the district said that they don't have enough bus drivers to provide two different uh, bus passes on two buses for any number of students. And after all the route reductions last year, they said adding any more bus passes would lead to more inefficiency. Live in Pasco County, Trevor Sahaki, Aid on Your Side.